WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavano with Mid-Afternoon Update. Uh, we've got stock sharp. Well, not sharply higher. They are higher. And the thing that we're watching for is the Federal Reserve will be coming out here in about an hour and 15 minutes, giving us the holy Bible of what they're going to be doing. And, of course, it's 100% guaranteed that they're going to raise it 25 basis points. Folks, if you ever want to fade anything, this is the one to fade. It'll be nothing or a half. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at this chart here that we get from Carson Research that shows this sell in May and go away ain't very smart if you look at it all the way. This thing has lost 10 out of the last 11 years. Now, that's 10 out of 11 years. If you figure out that 200 and some years the thing's been trading, I don't know what the statistics are, but they're using a very small sample size on this. So whenever you see a sample size less than 100, you have to be very skeptical. I mean, I mean really skeptical. So let's keep that in mind. We got the bond market is still very, very strong. Notes are strong. Uh, we have a gold broke out above the 12, uh, 2033 level. That was uh, some minor uh, resistance. Uh, silver is lagging behind that, of course, but uh, the gold is still uh, moving up. My prediction is that the Federal Reserve is probably going to surprise in some way that we don't know what it is. And the reason why is that uh, we're having a nice rally in stocks, but coming off a very, very bad um, Monday, if you remember, well, very, very bad Tuesday, which was Dow was down 500, but it came back 300 points from that. So there was not anything spectacular, you know, to write home about. The big spectacular news, folks, is the fact that we have had a $9 drop per barrel in crude oil in the, this week, and this is only Wednesday. So you can imagine you know, what's really happened. It's gone through the 618, uh, three at 50%, 618, 786. Uh, it's setting at the 786 uh, just about right now. It went a little bit below it, but this is a really big sell-off. Uh, we were alerted to this by Mike Moore of Moore Analytics when he was our guest on Monday, and he'll be joining us uh, on Friday to recap you know, what he was looking at for the next support zones for the uh, heating oil, gasoline, and also the crude oil. Our guest for today will be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter, who is always a lot of fun. And we'll see you in just a few minutes, 877-927-6648.